Hello everyone, Kaiser here, and today I'm back with another new video, which is me showing off a few action figures that I've gotten over the course of a few months, whether it be people buying them for me as gifts, or I just decided to get them myself. I just thought this would be a fun, hopefully quick video, just showing off what I've gotten and what I've been doing. So with that, let's get into it, starting with Stan Lee. And I got this figure as a present as a birthday present from my grandma. She said she paid $30 for this figure, which isn't too bad, I guess. And I say this is a pretty good figure, and I want it because I'm a fan of Stan Lee. I obviously never met him in person, but I do see him as kind of like one of the main faces of Marvel, and I was really happy when I got this. Um, for how it looks, I think it looks pretty well for a action figure of Stan Lee. I do like how the head kind of shows off like a nice big grin and I do like the casual outfit he has I'm not sure if this is based off any one outfit that he wore but I do like it and not only that but I do like the accessory which is a Captain America shield um with a big old Stan Lee signed on it um the articulation is pretty good too it can go his head can go up that far down that far it can go side to side his arms can go out that far he has a bicep swivel double jointed elbows and he does have a wrist swivel and a hinge he has an ab crunch that can go that far forward that far back it does kind of get hindered because of the jacket he does have a waist swivel his legs can go that far forward and that far back he does have a thigh swivel double jointed knees and he has an ankle um, joint that can go that far back, not too much forward, and an ankle pivot. Um, if I do have one problem with this figure is that at first, it was really hard for me to stand up, so I had to go and heat up the ankle joints in order for him to stand up better. But other than that, I really like this figure and I'm glad I have it. Let's see if he can stand up. Nope. Oh. There we go. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> Next up, we actually have Black Widow. I'm glad she fell. And for this figure, while I do like it, especially the design, I think this is like the best looking Black Widow suit. Um, I do wish the face had a little bit more character in it. So to me, at least, it does look kind of bland. But again, that could just be me. Um, another thing I did with this figure is actually a few modifications. Like with one, the waist. Um, originally, when you... Um, pose the diaphragm joint like going forward or back or side to side it would show the sculpting underneath it which looks really ugly so what I did was shaved it down and painted over it so that when you move it it looks a lot more natural another thing is with the batons or escrima sticks or whatever you want to call them um, I didn't like how they looked they just kind of looked really cheap and flimsy so what I did was I took a few Lego pieces I had and made my own. You'll see in a picture that I showed the kind of like extended version because with this little nub here, that's so it can go in her little backpack. And how I did that was that I took a Lego pole, cut um, a few pieces off, and pretty much made them into shortened stick pieces so you can put them in the back. So yeah, um, I'm really glad I did that, but... The only problem with that is that it does hinder the articulation of the head, which can go side to side, but as you can see, it does cause these to move and pop off, but it's fine. The head can go down pretty far and up, not so much because of the hair. Her arms can go that far out, and again, in the 360, but again, these do kind of get in the way. She has a single jointed elbow which does reach a little bit over 90 degrees. She does have a elbow swivel, the previously mentioned diaphragm joint, so it can swivel, it can go back and forth and side to side. 
her legs can go that far forward, if you can see. Not too much back. She does have double jointed knees. She does have a thigh swivel. And her ankle um, moving can go up that far, down that far, and the ankle pivot, but it is kind of weirdly placed. So again, I'm really happy that I got this figure, and now that I think about it, I don't think I actually got this figure, I think it was my brother, but yeah, I'm really happy to have it. Uh, I don't know figures want to stand up. There we go. Alright, next is Snake Eyes, and if you remember my Dragon Stars Goku video I did, I mentioned that I actually got this figure in a giveaway from Digital Inbound. And honestly, I wasn't expecting to win, but I'm really glad I have this figure. Um, cause for one, my mom really likes it and, well, she likes G.I. Joe in general. She grew up with it and she really likes Snake Eyes, so if she, if she wanted to, she could just take it when I'm not using it. But it's also the fact that this is a really good figure. Um, a lot of people were saying it's figure of the year and on some levels I have to agree. For one, while the figure does look very basic there's not a lot of color in it because it's mostly black there is a lot of detail in the figure that really makes it stand out more whether that be his grenade belt the the belt here or just the amount of holsters he has it's a really good looking figure and that also goes for the accessory since he actually comes with quite a few he comes with a sword and a sheath for it as you can see on the back he comes with a pistol with a silencer, what I assume is an MP5, a knife, and a backpack. So yeah, he does come with a lot, and the articulation really helps with that. His head can go that far up, and it helps because the neck also has its own joint, so as you can see, it can move up and down, and it can move side to side a little bit. His arms can go that far out. He does have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He does have a wrist swivel and a hinge that makes his um, wrist go side to side and not forward and back. That's also something that's on the Marvel Legends um, Black Widow figure here. He does have an ab crutch that can go really far forward and really far back. And it also helps that the waist is a ball joint, so while it can do its job, you know, going side to side, pretty much a swivel, it also helps that it can go pretty much all the way around, so it can enhance the crunch this figure has, which is really cool. He does have a drop-down hinge, kind of like um, a few SH figure arts, so his leg can go that far forward, and it can go pretty far back. He does have a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, he does have a boot swivel, and his ankle can go up that far, down that far, and he does have an ankle pivot. So this figure is pretty good on its own, it's a really solid figure, but for one complaint I have is that the waist, um, when I first got it, was a little too loose. It did kind of flop around everywhere, but I was able to fix it. Another thing I like about this figure is that you can actually do a lot of customizing um, for this figure if you really wanted to. I've seen some people turn it into um, Solid Snake from Metal Gear, which I find funny because both their names are Snake, or at least involve the word, word Snake, and one of them, another person turned it into a Game Reverse Deadpool, which I think is actually pretty cool. Next up, we have Elena from Dragon Quest Four, I believe. And I'm going to be honest, I am not that familiar with the Dragon Quest games. I'm not that familiar with this character, although I did look her up a bit when I first got this figure. But the big reason I got this was because, one, this is a Bring Arts figure, which I never owned before. And two, this figure um, only cost me $19. And if you want to know why, here's the thing. At the GameStop I go to, they have the clearance aisle. And this figure was in the clearance aisle. I thought that was a mistake, honestly. But no, it was um, $23 for clearance. And once I and once I paid for it and used like a $5 discount, it only came up to $19. So this is probably the cheapest I paid for an import figure. 
And I'm gonna be honest, I'm glad I paid um, $19 for this because while this is a good figure, there are a few problems when it comes to quality control. And this is a problem that a few people have with Bring Arts. For one, the leg, well, one of the legs had like a streak of yellow paint on it. And I had to go in with acetone and clean it up. It wasn't too big of a deal. But it, the waist on this figure was like stuck. So I had to go in with a hair dryer and move it around to, you know, loosen it up. And while these don't seem, and while, yeah, th these don't seem like big problems for a figure, the fact that this figure usually goes for 60 to $70, I shouldn't be having those problems with this, with this type of figure. Like, those figures in the back, these three, don't have those problems, and they're lower in price, but enough of me ranting. This figure, honestly, is pretty good for what I paid for. Um, I do like the look of it. It does have that, you know, Dragon Quest, Dragon Ball Z aesthetic, obviously, because, you know, Dragon Quest is made to look like Dragon Ball Z because they have the same artist. Uh, and I do like the, the design for this for this character since she's a march martial artist yet she looks quite like a wizard like she has the big she has the big hat and the cape like she she looks like a wizard but she she is a martial artist i just find that pretty clever um if there was one thing i wish this figure did or what i just want with this figure is that i wish she looked a bit more like her updated design which had a bit more detail but um for how she looks now it's fine, I like it. She also comes with quite a few accessories, that being three pairs of hands, which um, are a pair of fists, a pair of open palm hands, and a pair of grabbing hands, so you can hold these included weapons, um, which are like these Wolverine claws, that's just what I'm going to call them, and if you can see on this arm in particular, she has a little bracelet that's also an accessory, she comes with an orange slime, um, she comes with, oh, and she also comes with, like, two pots. So not a bad batch of accessories. I do kind of wish she came with, um, more expressions, because she does come with an alternate face. Almost forgot to mention that. But I wish she came with, like, um, a few more alternate heads or a few more weapons, honestly. But for what, but for what's with the figure, it's not too bad. Um, neither is the articulation. It's actually pretty good. Reminds me of Figma. So, getting to that. The head can go up and down. It can't really go up that much because of the hair. It can go side to side, pretty much in a full 360. The arms can move out that far. She does have a bicep swivel. She does have a single jointed elbow, which can go a little bit um, over 90 degrees. She does have an elbow swivel. If I can, there we go. She has a wrist swivel and a, well, just a ball jointed wrist, so it can go forward, back, side to side, all that. She has a waist swivel that's hidden because of the dress, but you can see it there. And it does kind of act as a crunch, so she can go forward and back. Her legs can go really far forward. And really far back, and I almost forgot to mention, she has... The cape is articulated, so it can go, um, you know, back, and it does have a ball joint, so it can go side to side, and the head popped off. It's fine. She does have a thigh swivel, again, which is hidden because of... Shit. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Okay, sorry about that. So, turns out the little skirt piece here... I uh, decided to break off on me, so I have to super glue it back. Guess that we, I guess we can chalk that up to another um, negative point about this figure. But as I was saying, um, legs can go up pretty far. Thigh swivel does have a single joint at the knee, but it can move pretty far in. And it also acts as a swivel if you want it to be. And her leg, or ankle I should say, can go down, up, and it doesn't really have a pivot, but it's kind of there. So overall, this figure isn't bad per se, but the fact that 
Um, it has a few quality control issues and the fact that the front of the skirt ripped on me kind of brings it down a few points considering how much this figure usually goes for. But again, not bad for the price I paid for it. Next up is Miss Marvel, and the reason I got this is because I played the Marvel Avengers beta, and I really like it for the most part. And I kind of like, mm, sorry, and I do like her character in that game, so I definitely want to know more about her. But um, right now, I just know her from Marvel Avengers for the most part. And I got this figure pretty much because I wanted to Miss Marvel. Um, and it's not a bad figure, but from the reviews I've seen, a lot of people were saying um, it is pretty much a retool of the comic book version of Miss Marvel, which, yeah, it's pretty accurate. The only real difference is the boots. So there isn't much change here, but, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. I got this figure from... A guy on Instagram who I'll put in the description. Um, for the most part, this figure looks good. It just has, honestly, a duller color scheme. Just kind of like a darker shade of blue, a darker shade of red. I do like the scarf, though, but I probably would replace it with some cloth. Um, the head sculpt, I think, is pretty good. I do like how the eyes are painted, if you can see them. And the hair sculpt isn't bad either. For articulation, she does have... Her head can swivel, but it's kind of hard due to all the hair and the scarf. She can't really look up, but she can look down. Her arms can go really far out. She has... Her arm can move in a 360. She has a single jointed elbow that can go a little bit over 90 degrees. A elbow swivel. She has a diaphragm joint that can't really move forward. It can move back, acts as a swivel. Her leg can go pretty far up because of how flexible the skirt is. And it can go pretty far back. She does have a thigh swivel that's hidden, kind of hidden under the skirt piece. She has double jointed knees, a boot cut or boot swivel I should say. And she, and her ankle can go up, down, and she does have an ankle pivot. So overall, not a bad figure, just kind of lazy. But I did see there was a Marvel Legends basic figure, which is kind of based off an advanced suit for her in the game. So who knows, maybe I'll buy that and swap out some parts, maybe, you know, just swap, swap some parts, maybe the arms and kind of make her a bit more interesting to look at but finally which is my favorite figure I got the SH figure arts best selection Naruto and this is a figure that I bought on my own because I really wanted to replace this this guy if you if you know me I've had this figure for a while and it's not as good definitely looking at this so yeah um it was and for the price I paid, which was like $30, it's not bad. Do have some complaints, but they're not incredibly massive. Starting with how it looks, it's standard Naruto. This is the, I'm going to call it the standard Naruto mold when it comes to SH figure arts because they've used it for both versions both versions of Sage Mode Naruto. Um, it's pretty simple, but it works. I also like the head. Um, because it does look pretty accurate to Naruto, and it also comes down to his accessories. Um, what he comes with is a pair of grabbing cans, one pair, well not a pair, one hand to hold his Rasengan, two kunais, and jutsu hands. So while he does come with a good amount of accessories, the main problem is that he doesn't come with fists, which doesn't work for Naruto since We've seen him fight quite a lot without using weapons. He can box. And you might be wondering, well, the figure you have has fists, so what are you talking about? These are actually from the previously mentioned Scrap Heap. So I just swapped out pieces from that figure in order to give to this one. And they work pretty well. I did have to use a bit of nail polish to make it a bit tighter, but it worked. So yeah, for articulation... Let me just move the neck 
if I can. There we go. His head can go up kind of far. It does get hindered because of the hair, but the neck also moves around, which helps. His arms can go that far out. He does have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He does have a ball jointed wrist so it can swivel, go side to side, up and down, all that. The waist can go that far forward, that far back, but that's only because I actually had to go in there and mod it myself. I wasn't the first one to do this. A, a friend on Instagram called Rice Customs showed me how to improve the diaphragm joint so he can move around a bit, so thank you for that. And he does have a waist joint, but it can't really swivel, but it can move side to side. He does have a drop down hinge like the snake eyes, so it can move pretty far forward and it can go back pretty far. He does have a, oh, he also has a thigh swivel, almost forgot to mention that. He does have a single jointed knee, but it can go pretty far back. He does have a ankle swivel, a pivot, it can move up pretty far, down pretty far. And he does have a, uh, what am I thinking, a toe bend. So yeah, um, this figure is pretty good and with the amount of accessories I have thanks to both this figure and the old Naruto I have, it's pretty good. But I also hope you guys enjoyed this video. I Hopefully this will be um, not as long as the one I made before, that one was like 30 minutes. But I still hope you guys enjoyed the video, whether or not it's a short one. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I got one big video coming out. It's another action figure comparison, so be prepared for that. And I'll see you guys next time.